Well, guys, it looks like that soon enough, this is not going to be the top search result of Google. Bruh. And one of you guys actually commented on the last video and you were like, Skizzle, you need to check out this video. Google did something against wokeness and I am pretty shocked right now. Needless to say, I'm really, really shocked. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. We got Aspen Gold talking about Google gave up on being woke. I don't believe it, but roll it. Has decided to change their culture. Uh oh. Alphabet uh -oh. CEO Sundar Pichai announcing this big company reorganization in a new memo consolidating teams to help develop AI products more quickly, but he also hinted at a new type of workplace culture for Google. Deirdre Bosa has the details in today's tech check. Hey, Dean. Oh no. I mean, hey, I, I mean, oh yes, but like, oh no. Well, good morning. So let me give you a bit of context. Google okay. has really been the poster child of cuddly tech culture, kombucha on tap, masseuses on staff. That's the softer side of it, but also from- You know, this is in America when sick as we use it. Sick as I'm driving around on that one. Nobody wanna walk, bro. Nobody wanna walk. It's Miami Beach, uh, bro. Like, just, just walk around, dog. Many years. It was <laughs> tolerated an openness for employees to bring social, political causes to work, mix ethics and business. It's founding mantra, even at a biggest... Because it never conflicted with their money. That's the reason yeah. why they did it. It never got in the way of the money. It's example of this, Dang. don't be evil. But we are right. increasingly seeing a tougher Google and a tougher Sundar Pichai at the top. Necessity... Yeah, and I do speak Urdu, right? I'm Pakistani, I'm a brown homeboy here, right? So, Sundar... Uh, in Urdu, I would like to say, yeah, this Sundar Bhai needs to get to the Chumia. He needs to get to the Chumia, what he has done, right? He, he's the guy that's trying to end wokeness, but let's be real, right? Like, are they trying to end wokeness because they're not making the money and they're losing money? Or they are simply doing it from the kindness of their heart where you guys lean on this one i'm curious as to what you think in the comments Dated perhaps by this increasingly competitive race in ai pichai just sent a note to employees it's got nothing to do with ai it's got to do with the fact that well actually it does have to do with ai that's actually not true i think she's right but i don't know if it's for the same reason that i'm thinking of i think the reason why is because in order to be successful with using ai you have to be unethical and in order to to do that you don't want to have a business full of conscientious objectors. You don't want to have a business full of complainers. So, and also like they're doing business with like these companies or these countries, like offering like the, helping like the Israeli military. Yeah. Yeah, people are going to get pissed. And so it, it's not in their best interest financially to care about social issues right now. Yeah. And so they just don't. M m money talks bull squash walks and i don't get like i don't understand i mean i i understand it's like blackrock funding the gaming devs i was gonna say like hey why is gaming gaming devs gaming publishers why are they pushing wokeness they're pushing it so hard and then their fans are not happy with them the fans are asking for boycotts the fans are like hey i'm not gonna buy your product i am not gonna buy your game then ultimately they lose numbers because to them, we're just a bunch of numbers. We are just a bunch of numbers. We're not humans, we're peasants. We're even far below than peasants. We're just a number on their Google Docs sheets, right? So they look at look at us as numbers, dollar signs. So when they see that number going down, I'm, I'm like, bro, you're seeing that go down. Why even bother? Apparently, BlackRock comes in. BlackRock is like, okay, here's a Benji, here's a Benji. I mean, they're not like, here's a Benji. They give them a, a lot of, they're getting their funds coming from them, so ultimately, they're not seeing that money loss but i mean what happens when blackrock decides to stop funding y'all dumbasses y you got angry fans you got upset fans you got fans that could have been lifelong fans of your company your games your projects and now they're deciding like nah bro f y'all i'm not gonna buy your product anymore now that google is realizing we're not sure why they are realizing is it the loss of money Probably. Are they doing it from the kindness of their heart? Probably not, right? Let's let's be real. They always want to pander. If Google does it, we're going to definitely see like other companies start to follow in their footsteps as well. How he is going to streamline the business to simplify structure, improve velocity yep. and execution. But the most interesting part of his memo that came at the end of it, he wrote, and I'm quoting him here, this mm -hmm. is a business, yeah. not a place to there act in a way that disrupts coworkers yeah. or makes them feel unsafe to attempt to use the company as a personal platform or mm. fight over disruptive issues or makes sense though this is a business after all i mean yeah like they're there to make money not to like do all that crap debate politics and guys and that's what the guy the ceo of google said yeah, and do you want to know why he said that money because them doing that is causing him to lose money that's money. the only reason i hope this is yeah. a wake-up call and a reality check 
for all of these people that actually think any of these Silicon Valley, any of these companies that exist for the sole purpose of making money, actually care about your little pet social issue. They yeah, don't give a f hundred percent. No, yeah, the chat is. Uh, people agree in the chat as well. Fuck about that. They mm. just want to make money. Absolutely. And because you're so stupid and you're so fixated on these little social issues, they know that if they use those social issues, they can hoodwink you into giving them money. And that's mm. why they do it. This was a not so veiled not. They never cared. This was always their policy. It's just that it didn't need to be until now. What happened earlier this week, a group of Google employees, they staged a sit-in across a number of Google offices, mm -hmm. including one literally inside of cloud CEO Thomas Curran's office at headquarters. They were protesting a more than $1 billion Israeli government cloud contract. But instead of hearing them out or dropping the contract like Google did mm -hmm. back in 2018 with the Pentagon AI contract in response to employee blowback, Google instead nearly immediately fired nearly 30 Sheesh. of the employees. In Google terminates 20 it implies after multi-city protest. Damn. Involved in and that. I bet all the rest of them stopped doing that shit. Do you think they actually gave a fuck about Israel or about yeah. Palestinians? Yeah, money talks. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Man, these companies seriously don't care. They really don't care. Whether you're woke, you're part of LGBT watching this video, they really don't care about you. Even when they're waving all those flags, bro, they don't care about it. They just want to look good. They're going to be like, yeah, look at us. You know, they want to have a high ESG score so they get BlackRock funding, they get money uh, and all that. But, but ultimately, Google is so big. They don't necessarily, I mean, everybody can do good with the, the money. I'm not denying that. But like, they, they're so big that they don't necessarily need BlackRock money, right? They're really, really big. So ultimately, I feel like that for Google, it's like they were losing a lot more money. The bigger you are, the harder you fall, right? I do believe that they were losing like a lot of money and it was not worth it for them so they're changing does that mean that other gaming companies gonna change it like smaller gaming companies gonna change it smaller uh, movie studios gonna change it mm, probably not because uh yeah the, the money that is being funded by blackrock is probably a lot more than i guess them losing the money i don't know man does it make sense to you guys or <gasps> bro some people today are so stupid it's sad where do they come from sit in and Pachai's memo now underscoring this point that this is a business, i.e. don't bring yeah. your social causes to work. That That's is certainly right. a departure of the Google we've known for the last few decades. To further put this in context, look at Meta's Meta, announcements yeah. yesterday. Here's the thing. Yeah. I think we're seeing a lot of people turn on uh, LGBT issues in America, which is a really bad thing. Uh, I'm a huge, uh, huge supporter of that. But I think that we're seeing a big shift. Big, big shift. And, yeah. uh, and, and to be honest though, like uh, all of this that's happening, right? Like people don't care what you have between your legs. People don't care who you sleep with. Like that's your personal matter. You do that. But don't like tell me what to do though, right? You feel what I'm saying? Like I, I just cannot suck a BBC, bro. Like that's not me. I love putting my BBC in places. That's the type of guy I am. Simple, okay? So pe people, people had enough. A lot of people are now talking about it. And the thing, this, maybe they're doing this because of acceptance, love is love. Hey, 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 who he? Is. I get maybe you're doing it for that reason, but people had enough. It's doing the complete opposite though. So it's hurting. It's hurting the LGBT crowd. If you're part of it, they, all of this uh, woke pandering is literally hurting you though. People really don't care about what you do behind closed doors. Okay, you want to do that? Yeah, do it, like, uh, closed doors. But you don't have to tell other people about it, right? And they, they are waving all those kind of flags and all that crap. And uh, everything is going woke. It's coming in all the movies, comics, games right now. So, obviously, a lot of people are people are fed up with that. People don't want that crap in their stuff. Uh, and uh, ultimately, it's hurting the LGBT people. I, I hope they understand that. Because this is doing the complete opposite. And I'm sure you guys don't want that, right? Nobody wants that, though. Uh, so. No, it's not. No, y'all y'all don't... Y am, I, am I the only one that's seeing this? Are y'all seeing this, too? Or, or is it just me? I'm seeing it, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it. There's a big shift worldwide. Yeah, okay. All right, so it's not just me. Not everybody, but it... it uh, all right, all right, all right. I'm not People, are, tar people are tired of it. I'm a big supporter of LGB. Hopefully, it's finally happening. Yeah, Vokey's ruined all the progress, uh, progress made. I one guarantee you that if the public sentiment against LGBT gets worse and it turns out to be like most people don't like it anymore, you know what you're going to stop seeing? Rainbow 
uh, Pride yeah. Month flags yeah, for yeah. all of these companies. They're just going to stop celebrating it. They're going to just stop doing it because it's not popular. They all just pander. Yeah, they don't really care about any of yeah. these issues. They, guys, seriously, right? Like, I'm a, I'm a straight brown ass man, okay? Bruh. They don't care about me. You know what you're watching. If you're a normal, if you got a brain on top of your head, right? Most of you guys, you know that they don't care about you. Like, why am I even talking? Most of you guys know that. But for two people that do not know, and especially, like, if you're part of LGB, uh... You should be aware they really don't give a damn about you you either they really you they don't even care about like Majority of the people do you really think that they care about you just think about it They don't care about me. They don't care about you you they don't care about any of us bro money talks bull squash walks at the end of the day We're all just just a number bruv. We're not even peasants. We're below that bro We're just a number on their computer screens dollar signs It's all about squeezing as much money as they possibly can from your wallet from your bank accounts That's what it comes down to bro. They don't care. So uh, yeah I, I think they were losing a lot of money and they they saw that it was not worth it. So change it, right? They would sell gay people out to uh, people that want to stone them and execute them for money. <gasps> and oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. then after they did it and they made a lot of money, the shareholders would vote for them to do it again. Damn! It is integrating its AI assistant into its family of apps. It also That's announced the fact. arrival of Llama 3, the next version of its open source large language model. So goalposts here, they are shifting very quickly. And Google seems to understand that it needs to get its house in order so that it can keep up or take back the lead, which some feel. That exactly. Because, like, the thing is, as I said, I think that in order to compete with AI, they have to do things that you probably shouldn't do. Yeah. But the thing is that if they don't do it, another company will do it and they will beat them. Nobody cares about like how things happened. People only care that they happened. The results. So if there's some ch The results, yeah, that's it. Nobody really cares. It's like one of those things, right? Like everybody know the, the first, okay, people don't, some believe that we had moon landing, some believe that we didn't land on the moon, right? Okay, this is gonna be controversial, but I was gonna go with this example, right? Okay, forget about everything, okay? But people, most people know the, the first guy that landed on the moon, Neil Armstrong, who is the second guy. Nobody gives a damn about the second one, guys. That's the thing, though. So it's like, in this situation, if the, whatever they're trying to do, right? If it works, hey, good. Nobody gives a damn who made it. It works, it works, it works. It's Google or Meta, okay? Simple as that. But nobody knows, like, the name. Or maybe, perhaps, maybe. But generally speaking, like, most people are going to be like, ah, whatever, bro. It works, it works, that's it. If it doesn't work, trash, dislike, this and that. Everybody goes out and <laughs> start tweeting all that, right? Uh, yeah, they, it just comes down to that. Results, 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 results. Money, 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 money. Chinese company that doesn't give a fuck about any of this stuff and they create a product that's way yeah. better, everybody's gonna just go start using that one. Facts. Nobody's gonna care about like, oh, but this is unethical. Nobody gives a shit. If they did, they wouldn't have been buying phones. They wouldn't Facts. have been buying uh, the shirts for like $6. Facts. Come on. Yeah. Up. Now, how it impacts the financials, the stock, the race will be certainly playing Isn't out at the top awesome. and bottom lines of the market. No, if I was an investor, I would be happy. I would be, I would be happy because it's, it shows that they're not gonna let this shit get in the way and they're gonna do whatever it takes to make money. Yeah. Absolutely. Perhaps as we have been tracking, and in particular, I will be looking for more of this kind of commentary or hints of a tougher Google, a Google on the offense, which I've been talking a lot about when it reports next week. Oh yeah, they're gonna be having their investor call. Yo, Tesla has been going downhill right now, but they're eventually gonna make a comeback. Probably may, might take like a couple of months. Meta, Alphabet, both of them are partnering up. So I think like now Meta is probably gonna start dropping that too. Now they're partnering up with Alphabet and Meta is massive. Microsoft is big though. Amazon's big, Apple, everybody on this list is big. Uh, but to see Google McDougal do that, crazy. For, for them to be like, okay, we're gonna give up on being woke. Absolutely insane. I could not, I cannot believe it, man. Cannot it's believe Tuesday. it. Also, courts have the only one they're on the offense against is the public. It's cash cow is being impacted by the competition. You can see on your screen, guys, we've got the Magnificent Seven coming up. It is going to be a very, very busy few weeks filled with 
lots of mentions on their AI strategies and monetization that could once yeah. again slip this race. Money, money, monetization. Oh man, oh God, I hate that monetization word. Yeah, word. I wanted to show that What's up, everybody? because I thought it was funny. I think that a lot of the people that work at these companies that think that they're some kind of good person for working at one of these companies, it's time for a reality check. Like you were never on anybody who you think is important side. You were just on the side of the company that it was convenient for them to be on your side at the time. Am I the only one that once doesn't want the companies I buy from to have any influence or say in social media whatsoever? I actually agree with you. I think that, and I've talked about this a lot. Um, I even made a video about this, but I didn't talk about it directly. It was like a, a point in the video. Is that I actually really hate whenever companies get involved in social issues. The reason why I hate it is because it pollutes the social issue. Mm. It takes some sort of like you know, actual, real, legitimate social issue, like racism, uh, homophobia, um, like transsexuals, uh, r religious freedom. Um, I, I feel like these are some of the big... It's one of those things, right? The more you push it to people, people start to hate it a lot more. I, it, it just comes down to that. But guys, recently, we also had the big homie, Dr. Disrespect. Actually, he speaks out against it. Guess what? Gets banned by Activision. <laughs> Check out this video on the screen on the left. This video is on my second channel. Just uploaded that brand new video. Check it out, man, and I'll see you right there.